Hey guys, welcome back. Today, this is Simraid YT. We'll be in the dungeon maps and we'll be doing the spirit keep. So before we get it underway, we'll just discuss a bit about the spirit keep. So as you can see here, the skills of the spirit keeps attacks all enemies. Damage increases according to your champion's current HP. Damage is based on attack. She has cleansing spring, removes all debuffs from this champion, places a block debuff based on this champion for two turns. Heals this champion by 20% of their max HP at the start of each turn. And almighty immune passive, immune to stun, freeze, sleep, provoke, block active skills, block passive skills, fear, true fear, pressurification, debuffs, also immune to HP effects, HP balancing effects, and cooldown increasing effects. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll show you my great hall. So you can see that I'm only a low level player. And I just want to show what I can achieve at the level I'm at. As you can see, I'm a low level. I'm working on accuracy, which is probably the best thing for everyone to work on. Increase your accuracy, it's a better chance for your skills to work on your champions. So my plan is to go through here, get all accuracies to level 10s. And then I'll work on crit damage and probably HP and attack after that. Now, the champions I'll be using today will be legendary champ champion Melissa Belly. Now, the reason I use her is she has a 24% speed increase. So she'll be the lead off champion. I have her over at around the 250 mark, 247 here in speed. Accuracy around 180. Now, being 180 accuracy, that'll be good up to like stage 18 because you work on about 10 accuracy per stage. So if you're doing stage 10, you want 100 accuracy. Stage 20, 200. But she shouldn't be too prominent because she doesn't really need accuracy so much because she's not there to do damage to the to the enemy. She's there more for the role of keeping our champions alive with her skills. Now her main skill here is Soul Shepherd. Places a revive on death buff and a six percent increased defense buff on allies for two turns. Revive on death, increased defense. I do have a book there, so it's down to three turns. Uncanny Treasury transfers her other skill with this champion HP equal to or higher than the target's champion. So what that means, if you have another champion in your team which is about to die or very low in health, and Mother Sabelli is high health, to transfer it across. So what it'll do then is transfer that Mother Sabelli's HP to the other champion, and then she'll have a buff on her where she can't take damage for the next turn or anything, which will allow her then to increase her skill back up. <clears throat> The Masteries, we've got her in Offensive Gear and Defense Build for Masteries, which will help, help her with the team. Our next champion we'll be doing is Alexander the Sharpshooter Possibility. He'll be in the team. As you can see, his Mastery is here. We have it set up on Offensive Gear and in Support, just to help himself, help him keep alive. We have him in... 187 speed, so the more speeds you can put on the champions, the better. It allows them to take more turns over your enemies. His critical damage here, what have we got? 140, 150 in critical damage, so you know we want to increase that over time as well. And his accuracy is only around 168. But as we progress through the game, yes, we will increase that as we go. We'll get better items, better gear. As you can see here, you know, we don't have six guard gear, we only have five star gear on, on some of the champions. I just upgrade and upgrade them as I continue playing the game. We'll have Solus here. He'll it, be another nuker in the team. So we have him set up to 156 damage, 200 accuracy. So he should be good up to level, you know, stage 19, 20 in accuracy. His speed is 180, 191 in speed. So he, he's pretty quick. You know, as you want your speed champions, your healers not going first, and then you come in with your nukers. His skills are really Reign of Terror, attacks all enemies, increases the duration of all debuffs on on each target by one turn, then place a provoke debuff. We've got the enemies for one turn, place a shield buff on this champion for two turns, equal to 30% of the damage inflicted. We've got some shield and provoke on him, and cool down to four turns. Wave of Despair, attacks three times at eight random, each hit has a 75 chance to remove a buff, places a Provoke debuff on this champion, for buff is what is removed. His Masteries, we've got him in Offensive Gear and Defense, 
You see here, Hell Smash has a 50% chance of ignoring 25% of the target's defense skill. That ignores defense. This 25% is in addition to the amount ignored by the skill. What other champions we're going to bring in here? We'll bring in Madam Ceres. We have a look at her masteries. She's in defense and support role. You know, because it's not so much her doing any damage. It's just for her skills, which are going to be there. Attacks one enemy has a 20% chance of placing fear debuff one turn. This chance is increases to 30% if the target is under one debuff. Increases to 45% if the target is under two or more debuffs. And so you get additional damage with the books here. Trick or treat. Tax all enemies has a 40% chance of stealing one random buff from each target. Places a block debuff on all enemies for two turns if any buff is stolen. Places a true fear debuff for one turn on enemies which have a buff stolen. Damage base is on attack, true fear, block damage, block debuffs. It's on a three turn because it's being booked down. Midnight Ritual. Removes all buff from enemies. This is what she's going to be in our team for. Place a 50% decrease attack debuff and a 60% decrease defense debuff on all enemies for two turns. So this will really allow our nukers to hit hard then when they do their attacks. Because the enemies are going to have decreased defense and decrease attack so when they attack us won't do as much damage either and being booked out we have it on four turns oh we have one more champion in the team and that will be Royal Guard now the Royal Guard we have him around the 154 crit damage accuracy of 209 so he'll be good up to stage 20 because you know as I said before 20 stage 20 by 10 that's 200 accuracy we have him at 170 181 speed and his skills is takedowns. His skill attacks all enemies. Damage increases according to enemy max HP. So this is where his nuke comes in. And with the additional damage here. His masteries, as you know, we have him in War Master. Decrease that damage, yeah, because that's where he's there. He's a nuke just to do that damage. Has a 60% chance of inflicting bonus damage when attacking. Bonus damage is equal to 10% of the target champion's max HP or 4% of the target's max HP when attacking bosses. Bonus damage can only occur once per skill and does not count as an extra hit. That's what he's there. The fence and he'll be in support as well. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a rundown, you know, what champion's going to use. And just to show you, you know, even with that great haul of being such a low level, you can get pretty far. You know, as long as you set up your champions correctly, every champion is different. So just leave, read what their skills are, what they you know they can do for you, and just put a mixture. Like I, as I say, in my team, I like to have Mother Sobelli as the lead because, as you see, she has Aurora increase alloy speed in battle for 24%. I have uh, I have Maramaceras here to to remove buffs. And then I have my nukers in here just to, 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 to do the damage, you know, to, to win the fights as quick as possible. And just keep increasing them. As you get more, more items on the way, if you get a better item, just upgrade and put those items into your champions. Okay, guys, well, uh, we'll, we'll get underway. Okay, we'll get underway here at stage 20. And this time, we only have two chances in the rewards here on the potions. No longer the lesser reward on the potion. And it costs us 16 energy for the battle. And we'll get straight underway. So you can see with our, our low level of, you know, what we had there. In the Great Hall, we were able to achieve achieve the stage 20. Now, you don't have the need to have your Great Hall maxed out to do some of the areas in the game. But at least me showing you, you know, what level I have mine at, you know now. Okay, as long as you get to that level, as long as you have the champions, same type of champions, you know, which ones can do a bit of damage. Um, some nukers, you know, speed champions in your team. And buff and debuff removers, you know, you, you're quite capable yourself of getting to stage 20 in different areas in the game, especially in this spirit keep, anyway. I'll be making videos and everything in the future, guys, for each section of the game, for every every section, showing you what my stat, my champions are, what items they have on the champions, how they're set up, and their masteries. 
what my grade haul levels are so you know if you want to judge along the way to what what requirements you need you know i'll have that available to show in future duty videos so you know like and subscribe if you want that information for the future for yourself to help you with your gameplay And I've got a website up and running now. So, you know, I'll have all the information on there as well as I keep adding videos to my YouTube and then I'll add them into the website. It'll be updated every time I do an update in the video at raidshadowlegends.com.au. So, you know, keep an eye out on that as well. Check that out, guys, if you like. Take care of this minion, then we'll be on to the boss. Okay, and that was Spirit Keep Stage 20. We received four of the greatest spirit potions and 7,750 silver. Okay, guys, thank you for joining, and we'll see you on the next one.